Have you ever wondered how many Pokemon you have to encounter to find a Shundo? Let's talk probability in Pokemon. Stay until the end for a question. The one who answers it first correctly in the comments gets to select the next game I use in this series. Now, what is a Shundo? A Shundo is a shiny Pokemon with 100 IV or perfect IV. These are very sought after because the Pokemon look different and generally speaking, people want them strong. Now, let's see what the math is behind getting them. First, let's start with the probability of a shiny. I looked at several sites and found these to be the typical rates for these four designations. So for most Pokemon that are not legendary, the probability is one in 500. Legendaries is one over 25 or 4%. The community day Pokemon is also one over 25 or 4%. Now the sources I used, I saw Raid Day to have a probability of 1 over 10 or 1 over 20. So depending on what site I was looking at, they were giving me different ones. I'm going to be sticking with 1 over 10 or 10%. Now let's look at a probability of a perfect IV Pokemon. Here's a chart that goes over all the ways the IVs are influenced. We're going to focus solely on the catching portion, which is the portion on the top. For a wild catch, we have a 1 in 16th chance for getting a perfect attack. Why? Because the range for attack is from 0 to 15. The same thing for defense and HP. How would you apply that in this case? Well, what it would be is 1 over 16 to the third power. And this gets you 1 over 4096. Now what does that mean? It means out of 4096 Pokemon, you're expected to get one that is perfect. Now, applying the same logic, you see how the probabilities are given the IV floors of the other catches. It also shows how influential the IV floors are to the probabilities themselves. Now, as we can see, Research Encounter and Raid Boss have the best probability for catching a perfect IV Pokemon at 1 over 216. Now, the question and the main purpose of this video is how do you combine the two? Now, you may be tempted to think that a Shundo is a conditional probability. That is to say that given it is a shiny, it has perfect IV. I want to let you know that this is not the case. The reason is because the Pokemon being shiny and the Pokemon being perfect IV are independent from one another, which is similar to how the attack, defense, and HP are all independent from one another. And so because of this, it is a simple matter of multiplying the probabilities together and seeing which is the highest. From this shiny and perfect IV chart, you see that raid day intersecting raid or catching from a raid gives you the best chance at getting a shundo with 1 over 10 times 1 over 216 to give you 1 over 2160. However, this is for catching Pokemon. When you or your friend already have a shiny and you lucky trade, you simplify the matter greatly. And just like last time, the IV floor makes a big impact. A lucky trade guarantees a 12-12-12 value designation at minimum, which means you have a 1 over 4 to the third power, or 1 over 64, chance of getting a perfect IV Pokemon. In conclusion, to catch a Shundo raid day is the best for catch. When you already have a shiny, lucky trade is the best. As for the question referenced earlier, if you're the first one to correctly answer the question in the comment section, you get to choose which game I use for my next video. The question is, what is the probability of you and your friend lucky trading shundos, resulting in both of you having shundos at the end? All right, I look forward to the comment section, so good luck with that, and as always, stay nerdy, my friends.